So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the lab build and end to end data capture pipeline using document AI. So first of all login with your credentials. In my case it is getting signed in automatically in case you need username and password you can refer to the lab instruction. Now click on I understand. Now click on I agree and then click on agree and continue. Now let's start the lab. So a lot of you guys are facing unnecessary error in this lab. So don't worry, I am here. Now we need to execute the first task. For that, some for that we need to activate the cloud shell. Click continue. Click authorize. Now we have to enable all the APIs present on the task number one. So first of all enter the APIs. As you can see APIs are finally enabled. Now we will move forward towards the task number 2 that is creating an API and restricting it to geocoding API. So click on API services and then click on credentials. Now click on create credentials. The API key is visible. You can either use any personal notepad or online notepad. Copy the API key here for as it will be used in future task. So now we will move forward to the next task that is restricting it to prevent unauthorized access. So now as you can see here is the name of the API. You can check the spelling. Click on edit key. then from here click on restrict key and from here select the geocoding api now click on save Check my progress for task number 1. Now we have to download the lab code. So for that run the command in the cloud shell. Now as it's done. So we will move forward to the lab instruction again. To check is there any task remaining for task 2. So we have to create processor. And this needs to be created manually. So for that search document AI. wait for the document to get to open now we have to click on explore processor and from here we have to select now form parcel now click on cross icon close on this unwanted pop-up now click on create processor now here we have to enter the name that is mentioned on the lab that is form processor Region must be US and then click on create. Until they ask to change the region, don't change the region. Now this is the processor ID and this is the region which will be required in the last in mini task. So now let's export this command. Now wait for this command to get executed.
check my progress for the task number four now we have to create cloud function for that we need to enable some permissions so first of all let us enable some permissions now let's enable the another permission note sometimes apis and permission take time to update so you need to wait for it so now let's export second one as you can see the service account has been created now we have to create the function so let's see whether we are able to create or not so let's hit enter see we got an error so no need to worry you need to wait for one to two minute for this apis and functions and the permissions to get enabled after that we will be able to deploy the function so now wait As you can see now the function is showing working so now you need to wait for the function to get deployed and remain in active state then we have to create another function and then we will be editing those functions so make sure those steps are very crucial otherwise you won't get any score and you will complain that app is not working so please wait for it. is now deployed now we have to run another command so let's see you can check from the lab instructions so finally guys the second function is also being deployed Meanwhile, you can search here Cloud Run. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do subscribe it and like the video. Now wait for this function to get deployed.
and once it's done we will move forward to the editing task which is most important function has been deployed now we have to search cloud run so here search cloud run or you can search function but better search cloud run you can click both but for this i am clicking this even if you click on cloud run you will be getting option of cloud run function so you can do it too now here we have to edit both the functions and update because the lab is having some issue so i have provided the way and bug fix for it so let's see now here we will be redirected to cloud gen first gen version so click on that functions are deployed here first we will click on invoice for sale then click on edit click on edit now here we have to export the processor locations and id and the project id too so first of all scroll down and has here you can see we have runtime environment variables so for that you can refer to the region is here so for location just enter this for id you need here as you can see now click on next so here it's showing that we have a gcp project but it's not showing there so we will create gcp project now enter the project id from the lab manual now click on next now click on dot env file here also just enter the gcp project and the symbol and then we will export the project id and same with the above that is region for processor and processor number so clear the this enter this clear this enter us so now we have to deploy the function now we have to edit the second function so wait for that so let's click on this click on edit function and now we have to export the api key which we created in case you are not able to find it you can always refer to the api services credentials i am showing away don't worry you won't face any issue if you follow this video so here is the api key which we recently created you can click on show key it will be visible in case you are unable to find or you haven't saved it so now click on runtime here you have to export the api key then click on next dot env and here you have to update the api key now you have to remove the space then click on deploy now wait for both function to get deployed 
then we will move forward to the last task and we will be done with the lab the check my progress for deploying function task of both the function as you can see we got the score without any issue see both check work check box has been ticked now we have to run this command in cloud shell enter wait for this command to execute and now just search bigquery now we will check whether the result has been populated or not so that you can make sure that you are done with the lab so finally here project id will be visible click on done now select the project id now wait for the command voice parser select the first one and then click on preview so as you can see it's showing the data and query now for the second one also you have to click on preview so let's say it check my progress as you can see we have got the score without any issue in case you like the tutorial like the video and subscribe to my channel for more amazing content thank you guys and have a great day ahead do check playlist for other skill badges uh, let me show you the channel because a lot of you guys haven't subscribed to the channel so this is my channel do subscribe it you can refer to the playlist all skill badges game badges techniques to earn more arcade points